you just take a moment to take a look, close look at your glasses <laughs> setup. <laughs> We were playing around with different ideas of how to put some trim on our skylights and also the emergency hatches in the ceiling. And we really like the way the band, it comes with its own trim piece and it gives it just a clean finish that it just kind of disappears into the ceiling without making it a big feature. And the lightning, you can get struck by lightning. It's what amazing. if it hits a tree and the tree falls on you? Then I got really, really bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40 foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs>We were playing around with different ideas of how to put some trim on our skylights and also the emergency hatches in the ceiling. And we really like the way the band, it comes with its own trim piece and it gives it just a clean finish that it just kind of disappears into the ceiling without making it a big feature. And we decided we had to go and experiment and look for something different and unusual because you know there isn't any trim that exists for your homemade skylight and we found this vinyl molding and so we thought that would be really great and sturdy and deal well up against our skylights we had to cut a tiny bit off the bottom so we just held it up there and traced out to the shape of the ceiling and made it fit real good underneath we are going to be putting metal, as we talked about before, so that we can have magnetic covers that just push up, click into place. And then it did have a peel and stick option, but we weren't sure how good that adhesive was. So we decided to just use this new heavy duty instruction glue that we found. And we did a little test as well, gluing it to wood and it sticks really well. So we're hoping it does the same up there. the roller to roll it in and yeah we're really happy with how it came out I love the way it gives it that clean finish there's not a lot of seams in it changing over the way my desk is mounted we originally were looking at doing piping which I love however because of the way that the desk is set up and we have to hit beams in the wall to actually make it structurally sound, we decided to go with these angle brackets. I think these hold about 400 pounds or 250 pounds. I don't know, either way, it's way more than I'll put under my desk. So we had to figure out how to mount it into the beams. We had these super long two and three quarter inch self drilling wood to metal screws but they're too long if we drilled with them they just go straight out the side of the bus so what we had to do is use them get started make the hole in the beam with them now that i got the giant screws started i gotta go cut them and then we can go ahead and screw them in And we'll just use wood screws to go up into the top from the bottom into the desktop part of the desk. Now if you remember we also put wood studs throughout the bus just so we would have mounting points for different things. And so we're going to take advantage of those just to put some extra screws to secure this brace in right here. Feel solid. We've got a few odds and ends of uh, metal trim 
that we're putting together that needs to be cut down. I'm gonna try to knock those out real quick here. Doing one for the step first. All right, it looks pretty close. I think I just need to sand down the rough edges, um, but I think it'll look good. Before, after. Now to get our metal cover over our step here, I'm gonna use this double-sided tape. It holds up to 50 pounds with a four inch piece. It should be super strong to hold this. It does stick to metal, cement, wood, glass, tile, ceramics, plastic, brick. And I cannot tell you that it's great because I've never used it before, but it looks like it's the best option for this purpose. I'm also gonna go ahead and use a little bit of that heavy duty Gorilla Glue. This stuff is the stickiest stuff I've ever seen. I'm gonna use it across the top, just where the aluminum meets the vinyl. Vinyl is a very odd surface to use an adhesive on, and I found this stuff works wonderfully for it. One down. Now to work on the one for the hatch. So for this one, I'm going to use that same T-Rex tape. I'm just gonna use a strip all the way across the top here. It should stay, because there's not gonna be any standing on here. This is purely a trim to protect this wood and have a nice cover over this area because right now you can just see a bunch of layers it'll look so much better with the metal piece on it it's raining there's a thunderstorm <laughs> we are in the bus working on the skylights because Don says so <laughs> it's just <laughs> rain it's thunder and lightning so uh, yeah, we're he gonna has live to. In the bus he, eventually. We're no, gonna I'm be fine with the bus, but you have to run out to the tent or the house if we need something. I'm staying in here. I have to run into the rain. And the lightning, you can get struck by lightning. There's other taller metal things. What if it hits a tree and the tree falls on you? Then I got really, really bad luck. <laughs> There's a saying here that goes something like, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. And it's so true. Like it was a thunderstorm when we came out to work and now just look at it, like beautiful sunshine. It's like perfect weather out here. What is this one? Driver's back? Driver's back. Don't you think this is genius? What? <laughs> Don't you think this is genius? We've got floor molding and air ducting <laughs> as our skylight trim. We've got floor molding for what? We've got floor molding and ducting 
as trim for skylights, but it's so good. It's looking good. Can we just take a moment to take a look, close look at your glasses setup? <laughs> He's been trying to find uh, working protective glasses that have little lenses in them too. But. So just have these 1X readers for anything like closer than this. So I have to do both of these. <laughs> it's a new style. Latest fashion. The other really good thing about using this ducting is it bends really easy. So like these ones that we're working on right now have to go into the curve of the ceiling. So. That's a bonus. He's really taken to this uh, clean as you go method. I just gotta figure out how to get him to do it inside, like clean up coffee as you make it. So that was a pretty humid day with those thunderstorms and I had to wear that protective coating for my arms. So I am drenched. It's so warm in here, but these skylights are starting to look pretty nice. And we didn't get stainless steel. I don't know what this metal is. I looked it up. Really? Yeah, normally ducting is made of gold and steel. So it's ducting. So Mel said she thinks it's made of galvanized steel. And whatever it is, it's magnetic. We found it in the heating and air conditioning section of the hardware store. We wanna be able to have skylight covers, one that'll be able to just be a, a tint to keep some of the sun's harsh rays from coming through and heating up us. The other one just with some reflectix. That's why we specifically wanted these to be magnetic. And I think they're gonna turn out pretty nice. Next up, we got one to do in the bathroom. Well, we're letting the vinyl trim dry in place before we put that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the skylight covers so that we'll be prepared for summer. We just had to take a little time away from bus work. Because we got our first COVID shot. Yeah, we got the Pfizer shot. So we got about three weeks before we get our second shot from the convenient Walmart pharmacy. I'll just take it easy today. See if we have any symptoms. Hopefully none. But we'll take a day off last week, and now starting to wake. Yeah. Dog blue pods out. <laughs> Let's get inside. Okay. Right in. After we got our shots yesterday, we decided to take the day off and not be reaching up to the ceiling with our sore arms from the injection. Our arms are still sore, <laughs> but we can't afford to wait any longer, so. We're just gonna go ahead and stop reaching up to the ceiling and hope that those shoulders feel better tomorrow. If your arm is sore after you've got vaccinated, please let us know. And if you've constantly been grabbing your loved one's arm by because you're not thinking about <laughs> it. And <laughs> Don likes to affectionately come over and go, how are you doing, honey, on my shoulder? He just, it's just like Ow. what he does. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I told him I'm ready to punch him in the face. Yeah, that's. Because he keeps doing that. That thing's long needle. So we have one skylight to complete today.
Over the last couple of weeks, we've been juggling many jobs. One of those jobs we've started on is getting the Pilates tower ready, and we'll fill you in on that once we complete it. And we have to get our trim work into our ceiling hatches as well because we can't finish our mini Pilates studio in the bus until that back hatch has its trim on. So we have to cut out little holes for all the little latches and knobs that are in the hatches. It's a little bit of a tricky business to try and get it lined up right. Let's see if that helps. It's okay to cut. It's just a pain in the butt to hold in place and figure out where to cut. So we weren't sure what we wanted to do with these hatches. They're this gray color. We've got gray in our color scheme. So we're thinking maybe we'd leave them gray. But at the very least, we need to clean them because they're filthy. But as we're putting this white molding up here, um, I think to make it look good, we actually have to paint it white so that anywhere where there isn't molding, you don't see this gray sticking out. I'm gonna clean it. I hope we don't regret making the hatches white because um, I'm sure they're gonna get dirty up here, but hopefully the vinyl will just be super easy to clean. I know the exterior, we can't do anything about it getting dirty, but the vinyl should be easy to just wipe down. So because we got complicated trim and we're gonna do it in wood here, I couldn't figure out how to get the curves right, but what we're gonna do is just tape some paper onto the ceiling and I'm gonna go up on the roof and just trace. Back to the roof. Yeah, where are you starting? Start in the back driver's side corner. The windows closed to fear and doubt. I stopped and turned, trying to yeah, find we got it. out. Oh, I haven't been on the roof for a while. There might be something I forgot, but all I know is that I miss you a lot. Seven days of eternity, seven days in another country. Every cell screams, stay right here, and my legs, they freeze us in fear. We got time after this, but I'll need you as my brightest light, even in the darkest night. Let's see how this trim is going to fit. I think it's going to work. So we put our wood trim up on our back hatch. We need to charge of the rag. And if I can't see you, I'll lose my mind. scary moment for me. I think I, I came a hair close to shooting a two inch brad nail through my thumb. Yeah. I didn't even notice it until afterwards and it made me nervous. Okay, how'd you get 
back way so you can tell me that looks centered. It's not our favorite thing we've done. <laughs> yeah, the jury's still out on what we're gonna do about it. I think now that we've got the trim up, we're gonna go ahead and sand it and see if it looks better. It's hard to make that eighth inch birch wood look good. Yeah. It's just so skinny, so but anyway. It's back there. We're not gonna show you a close up until we sand it and paint it again. And then we'll either celebrate <laughs> together or try to decide what to do to fix it. Yeah. A new day, a fresh perspective. Let's see if we can get this hatch trim looking any better today. I have sawdust all over my face. I'm just gonna keep sanding. I have another idea, something that maybe will make it look a little bit better. Okay, I got the inside sanded down. Not thrilled with it, but it might be as good as it gets. I'm gonna paint the outside part of the trim, and I think the inside part's gonna need that tape. I don't know, that like finishing tape. I'm not sure what it's called. But I think that's gonna be the key to making that inside part look good. I think the end result is gonna look good. There's one more step before I show you the details. I think, uh, both Don and I are just kind of our own worst critics. I think it's gonna work. Exhausted. The Don gave me some coffee and some tape, and we're gonna go and try trim up that back ceiling hatch. <laughs> looks so much better, especially when you see the before <laughs> and the now. We spent a little time on my desk in the back too. It's a pretty complicated area there because Don's going to be housing various things. But we'll share that with you next time. Overall, it's a fairly smooth process. It just leaves a lot of metal shavings. So you gotta vacuum and clean up. <laughs> <laughs>